so now we're going to talk about EMV files and why they are important. So first of all, we're going to go to the to our uh, terminal and then let's go to the backend and then we're going to install npm dot, npmi then dot env to install the package. I'm going to show you exactly everything it does. First of all, we're going to require it. So I'm going to go const and then you have dot env when you require it from dot env so now you can go dot env dot config to run it or you can simply go from here and like dot config to run it it's up to you i prefer it this way so now we run it so we're gonna go to the main route in the back end and then we're gonna create a file which is gonna be dot env and what we do with this env file we store every important you know information sensible information that we can just use in our you know server so for for example we have like a key you know that connects to the database that we're gonna use after we can't put it like here you know and like if you send the code to anyone else they get access to it we don't want to do that and also if there is like a uh, a variable that you use a lot and you don't want to like define it here and here you can like define it in the env and use it this way so it's very 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 important and the way you use it we're going to use it right here for so let's have const port and then when you get we want to access where we're going to go to the dot env first and we're going to have port and then it's going to be 8000 okay and then we're going to go back to the server and the port is going to be process.env so this way we access the env file and then we access you know the variable that we want which is going to be port let me check again it's called port so now we access it right here so if it does exist okay if it doesn't exist it's going to be 8000 by default and now instead of using 8000 we just use port simple as this and now we can go back right here this is the server we can just close it and run it again apm run server and as you see everything is running fine you can also like um, uh, show the port that you are running it for example we can change this and we can use backticks and server is is listening or is running let's change it is running is running i can't type on port and then we're going to use literal and then here we're going to have port simple as this and we're going to have server is running on port 8000 so this is like a env file and they are very very important to use and probably you heard about them but i had to make sure that everyone does